that I just came through where I walked past an overweight cop in an alley with a beer gut bursting from a bulletproof jacket who thinks to himself, I've got to get back to the man that I was when I was a dreamer with a partner in crime named Brandy McGill, a girl with a love of life bigger than normal who still wonders when her life will begin. Her best friend Maria, who seems to have everything, tells her she probably just needs a vacation away from the stress of her husband's vocation. While Maria is talking, Brandy is drifting, staring at John, who just got the job, busting tables to pay for community college and associate's degree in x-ray technology. John is too old. Still be in college, he doesn't like class, and sometimes doesn't go. Long story short, his family was broken, he was free from a past life as a kid on skid row. He notices Brandon, but stares at Maria, her beauty well practiced in casting its spell. Imagining her naked, he spills dirty dishes on the lap of an elderly woman named Belle. A lady who won't live to see her next birthday But shares a warm smile regardless of that The mess that unfolds completely surrounds her Not one bit of urgency enters her soul She reaches for Roy, her husband forever In love and connection, her small hand he holds <laughs> Nothing comes of it but a manager's anger. Not for the mess, but her father's remarks about a bad grade that she had as a child. So she takes her revenge out by firing John, who now wonders when his life will begin. He can confuse it. Search for the will and learn that you find it, that you lost your way. Long story short, he saw a commercial that said that the 20s are the prime of your life But that doesn't seem to be true at this moment As he cleans out his locker and he calls his best friend Who's too busy to talk Cause he's prepping with lawyers to keep money from His ex-wife, the mother of their only son Who's naturally drawn to guns and sharp objects And now has no father except for on weekends Times a month. No need to worry. I'm told we're protected by the men passing laws in the House and the Senate from people who mix up the truth and reality with movies and games and ridiculous scenarios. Long story short, best I can tell, children. 